Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this makeup look that I have on right here. I'm still sick. Can you guys believe that? Like, I cannot seem to be get better. And everybody here is, like, sick. So it sucks. So, but I still decided to come over here and do another video for you guys. Because I love you guys so much and I miss you guys. Um, so, yeah, I decided to do this warm, smoky eye look for you guys with a pinky nude lip. Of course, you guys can change it up. I did kind of wanted to do a red lip, but I lost my my matte red lip from Line Crime, and it is so sad because oh my god, I went through so much to get that one. So yeah, um, hopefully I can look for I can find it actually. So yeah, this is the look. I really hope you guys enjoy it. I'm hoping you guys are having a great weekend. Well, had a great weekend because we're on Monday now. It was long weekend. But this video won't be up until like maybe I think Tuesday. Not sure. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to find out how to get this warm smoky eye, keep on watching. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye guys. Okay guys, so I'm going to start off with my bronzer and from MAC in Refresh. You guys all know this is my one of my favorites. And I'm going to go ahead and use that as my transition color. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this right onto my crease. Just so that it helps that all my eyeshadows blend very well and it's just going to do a good job in blending everything so it comes out good. So as you guys can see I'm just applying this right onto my crease and then I'm using this little blending brush from Pretty Girls, I think that's the name, Pretty Girls brushes. And I'm feeling this black hair again. I'm still trying to get used to it because I feel weird for some reason. I don't know. Anyways. So from there, I am going to be using the So Eva Chocolate Blend um, Palette. This palette will be out in June, you guys. So get yourselves one because it's an amazing palette. So I'm going to start off with the first shadow right there. And I'm going to apply this right onto my crease just to warm it up a little bit more. I just needed another color to kind of warm it up a little bit more so I'm just applying this back and forth as you guys can see I'm doing kind of circle emotions and then just going back and forth until I am happy with the intensity of the shadow on my crease so from there I'm just going back and forth like I said and then I'm just going to go ahead with the same palette from Zoeva Cosmetics. I am going with this dark um, chocolatey shadow. And I'm going to apply this right into the inner corner and outer corner of the lid just to kind of smoke it out. This color right here, it's like a chocolatey darkish brown color I don't know how to describe it but I'm just going to apply this in the inner corner and outer corner I am doing this kind of hollow sandwich eyeshadow style you guys know the drill so I'm just kind of applying this right onto on the outer corners and inner corners just kind of blending that a little bit outwards I'm trying not to bring it up so much because I don't want it to be like a very dramatic smoky eye I just kind of want to keep it toned down a little bit but I want it to for you guys to be able to see what I'm doing sorry I was kind of dying of coughing and stuff so I'm just going back again and blending everything out just so that I don't have any harsh lines like I said you want to make sure as you go you are blending and applying the colors so that everything looks nice and well blended so I'm just going back and retouching everything So from there, I'm going with this shadow right here. It's very pretty and it's not too crazy. And I'm just going to apply it right into the center of the lid just to make the whole look come together. I'm just going back again, again and just kind of reapplying the colors and then kind of blending them out just to make sure that everything comes out really nice and blended. From there, I'm just using a big flush fee brush just to kind of blend everything out and then I'm using my same powder brush and just applying this as a base and then I'm using the Soeva white shadow and applying this right onto the brow bone just to kind of highlight it a little bit more <coughs> sorry guys but this sickness is really killing me 
So from there, I'm going back again with that brown shade, and then I'm just applying this right onto the bottom lash line. This is going to be my transition. It is going to help with the brown, brown, dark brown shade to kind of help it to blend a little bit better. So I'm using this. I'm doing the same thing I did on top. I'm doing at the bottom, applying the same colors. And then I'm just kind of cleaning any fallout before it sets, and then it kind of becomes a big mess. So I'm using the Galactic um, Liquid Liner, and then I applied my Cocoa Lashes in Goddess, I believe they are. And then I'm just using my Makeup Forever Mascara that I love to apply those on the top and bottom. To highlight my cheekbones, I am going to be using my favorite from Gerard Cosmetics in Maryland. This is my all-time favorite highlighter. It is just amazing, you guys. I do have promo codes if you guys are interested in purchasing one. I will put them on the bottom bar. And yeah, so I'm just using this Soiva Fan Brush. And I am feeling the look. I'm like, yes. Yes, girl. Looking good. So for lips, I did use um, Pure Hollywood and Milkshake together, and this is the lip color that I came out to. I really love it when I do a smoky eye. I can do this pinky, nudie lip. I just, I don't know. I'm just obsessed with them. I don't know. Let me know what other kind of looks you guys want to see and lip colors you would love to see on me. So yes, yeah, so I'm just retouching everything, and this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, you guys, I love you guys so much. And don't forget to follow me on my new Facebook page. I am switching to another Facebook page, so make sure to follow me. And I love you guys all so much, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.